Let's power the DPDT relay, which is a 24 volt relay, which is this one here. So it has double pole and double throw. Individual contacts, there's two different contacts and I will wire these two lamps. In fact, I'll wire this lamp through one of the contacts and this motor through the other contact. The positive of the power supply goes to positive of the coil and the negative of the power supply goes to negative of the coil. Now, since this is a 24 volt relay, I need to change that voltage to 24 volts. Okay, so we're at about 23.5. Let's turn it on and see if this relay energizes. We can see how the relay clicked. All right, we'll leave it off for now. Now we'll wire the power circuit of this relay. So the power circuit is coming through this power supply. So positive, these terminals here are common. So I'm gonna go through this first one, which is going through that contact. And the negative, the negative of the lamp is going to here. So if I turn this on, I get nothing which means that that part is normally open. If I go to normally closed, see how that one turned on even without the relay? That's because that is normally closed. So I'm going to leave that as normally closed, but the second contact I'm going to wire as normally open. So for the second contact, the power goes to the common of the second contact. And the normally open contact goes to the motor and the motor goes to the negative. You see how that light is still on but the motor didn't turn on because the motor is going through the normally open side and that lamp is coming through the normally closed side. Let's see what happens when we turn this on. You see how when I turned it on that lamp turned off but the motor turned on. Let's do it again. The reason this is happening is because this side of the contact that I've got uh, powering this lamp is connected to normally closed, which means when I turn this on, the relay energizes, the normally closed becomes open, which means that disconnects the lamp. On the other hand, we've got this motor which is connected to normally open, which means that when I energize this relay, that normally open closes and then energizes the motor. Let's see it one more time. I hope all this made sense. If you found this video useful, please like it. And if you want regular updates of my videos, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.